Hello, YouTube reseller mom here. Welcome to today's show. We've got a fun reseller news uh, oh. show for you today. Good morning, Marcy. How are Good you morning. today? I put up a screen name of hoarder with a purpose to make you laugh today. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to change it before the show and I forgot. <laughs> so I guess now I'm hoarder with a purpose. <laughs> yep, too late now. That's the name you're going to be stuck with. <laughs> So, how are you doing otherwise? I'm good. I am good. Can do you mind if I throw a PSA out there? Sure. Just for, you know, general knowledge. I wish somebody would have told me before. If you are feeling exhausted all the time and you can't keep up with your business, you need to go to your doctor and ask them to check a level vitamin B12 level. Because normal, the lowest end of normal is 400. My doc checked mine and I'm at 155. Ooh. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's why I've been like dragging for a long time. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things that could be affecting your health. So, yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah, check my thyroid level not. and you know, all of that other stuff. Hey, Eric, what's up? Morning, Eric. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, mean, I just, you know, I just thought I was working too much, even though, of course, she she told me I'm working too much. She's like, you need to take at least one day off a week. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to do that. And, um, but anyway, yeah, so, I mean, you know, I just thought my energy level was because I was overworking, you know, mm -hmm. but um, I did get a vitamin B12 shot, an injection in her office the other day, and it's really helped me just one shot. And so I'm, I need to get a monthly now. Uh, so anyway, that's just a little PSA. If anybody's dragging and they don't know why, it might not be your business. There, there could be a lot of things tied. I've been reading a lot of health reports that, that just say about the general COVID and mm -hmm. the drama going on in life can affect you in a lot of different ways, such as upset stomachs or headaches or anxiety yeah. or depression. So then, definitely take care of yourself. Yeah. And another thing is, so she actually wrote for me to get my vitamin B12 level checked before the virus. And mm -hmm. then, you know, we had this big, massive, like, oh my God, what's going on? The world is shutting down around us. So, you know, other than sourcing, you know, I wasn't really doing anything, you know, for six months outside the house. So I actually delayed my own care. So if, you know, your doctor ordered you something, go get it done. <laughs> <laughs> All doctors appreciate that announcement. Let me tell you. What's that? All doctors appreciate that <laughs> announcement. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. mammograms and, you know, all that good stuff. So we've got a lot of things to go over, a lot of things happening. It is officially, we are in Q4 and Yay. there's there's so much and it is overwhelming. So if you feel overwhelmed, you're not alone. We all feel overwhelmed. Black Friday is completely changing. Shopping is completely changing. Amazon has come down with a lot of wacky things. So we're going to talk about some wacky things. <laughs> and then we're going to... We're going to talk about some some new stuff, and then we're going to go into some Q4 shopping tips and, and things like that. So first up that I wanted to mention, I know, and I have all the links down below, so <clears throat> you should be able to find these down below. I think most everybody got hit with <laughs> the safety documentation for toys this year. And I've seen a lot of posts of where do I find this? How do I get this? There's a lot of different ways you can get your product safety certificate. And one is contacting the manufacturer, the distributor. Uh, of course, my food delivery is here right when we start, start this live. But uh, don't mind the dogs barking in the background. It's just my Amazon fresh order. So I don't have to go out grocery shopping. Yay. But uh, <laughs> So, so you can contact the manufacturer, the distributor um, to get that paperwork. I actually had one item that was a wholesale item when I contacted the company. They gave me some certificate thing that was basically baloney. It just said that our product doesn't need to be tested. I'm like, yeah, that's not going to fly with Amazon. I submitted it anyway. Of course, it didn't fly. <laughs> so, <laughs> Luckily, it was a Halloween item. So I kind of just... I priced it really good and sold out so I wouldn't be stuck with a bunch of inventory. Uh, I do have a couple items that are going to be recalled. Puzzles. 
and whatnot. And I'll just sell them over on eBay. I just feel like my time wasn't worth it trying to track that down. But you could always give this website a try and see if the paperwork is on there as Talking well. About time about doing stuff. One of the things that I've been um, trying to to take more note of is, you know, evaluating how much time am I spending on doing something? Exactly. You know, how much is that costing me per hour to, to, to do that? Or if mm -hmm. I give an assignment to one of my kids, you know, how much does it cost me to have my daughter, you know, take labels off for an hour, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So that's, that's something, cause I had two, I got two hits on the toys and I was just like, nah, delete them. Cause I'm not spending time. I mean, it was just two listings. Yeah. You know, if, if I had, you know, dozens of them or whatever, that would be different, but just a thought. Exactly. Hello, oh, butterfly you hustles. Is costing you. Hello. I love that name. Yes. There was a great little fee Facebook post about somebody saying that, you know, is it bad that I want to hire out for cleaning service? No, mm -hmm. not at all. I mean, I hate cleaning. That's on my list of things to get hired out for because I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> well, so, yeah, because I, you know, and like even um, like I signed up for the Sam's Plus um, mm -hmm. earlier in the year. And of course, you know, my husband's very frugal yeah. and, and like to the point he doesn't outsource. He doesn't know how. And, um, but I told him, I was like, you know, it's like $45 a year or something. I said, it's going to take me an hour to go to the store. By the time I get there, get what I need, get it to my car, bring it home, drag it into the house. There's an hour. And I, I was like, you know, if I do, you know, let's say I do four orders a year, that's four hours. Well, that makes up, you know, makes up the time. So. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, I ordered Amazon. And he fresh. Was like, he thought about it. He's like, that's a really good point. And I told him, I said, because if I go to the store, you know, if I leave the store for one thing, I have to go sourcing. Like, it's not like I can go to one store and come home. Exactly. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> exactly. <It's all> <laughs> and then I, I go to the store and then I like end up buying all this other stuff. And <laughs> I have had so much stuff changed to delivery. Like I did my Amazon fresh order because today I have this session. I have my uh, lady come in that packs things up for me. I'm getting a pallet this afternoon. I'm so Yay! excited. And my husband's coming home tonight. So I got to go to the airport and I'm like, I just don't have time to go. It was $7. I'm like, for $7, that saves me the trip to go. I'll probably spend less anyways. I get what I need. It's yep. not, yeah, it just works. Same with, I have all my dog food delivered. It worked it out to like three dollars more to not have to go to the store and spend a half hour doing that. Right. I'm going, that is so worth it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so we have been getting quite a few emails from Amazon. Some of them are confusing. All right, all of them are confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who writes their emails, but it's you, you read it and you're like, what? What? <laughs> right, where, right for normal people here. So you might have received this where's one. This the one point? When I, I'm reading them, I'm like, where's the point? Where, yeah. where is it? It's so vague. And you're like, did I miss I something? I have to read. <laughs> and you're like, do I have to do anything? Yeah. So this, <laughs> this morning we got one that said, we are updating our systems. If you have an available balance, this will trigger an off cycle disimbursement and reset your uh, cyclical disimbursement date. Um, yeah. So on the forums, I love it. It just so many people are like, what does this mean? What does this mean? I don't understand. I didn't get a disimbursement. Am I supposed to get a disimbursement? Am I not supposed? To? As far as I can tell, nothing happened with my account. Maybe something will happen. Maybe it won't. Maybe they're talking about past things that happen. I don't know, but I'm not going to worry about it. This is one of those that you just read and file away and maybe you're going to get a disimbursement. Maybe you're not. We'll see. The next one was pretty important. I'm so excited about this one. Yeah, this one was a good one. So go ahead. You you hit this one. Oh, okay. So this one. So um, as long as your, you know, your seller um, statistics are wherever Amazon deems is appropriate, you will be invited to be able to change your handling time to one day. So right now, I think the default is one to two days. Um, so you get to change your handling time, which of course, you know, will encourage people to buy from you because you'll be able to get it to your customer quicker. Now this is through Merchant Fulfilled. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, so I'm really excited about it. So the only, you know, I, I 
went in and um, looked at it and the only way to change the listings in bulk to a one day handling time is through a CSV file, is that right? Okay. CSV, yeah. which I'm not familiar with, so I'm gonna have to have you teach me. Um, but other than that, then you have to go in individually into your listings and edit them. So you edit them in the offer field on your okay. listing. Okay. You know, it's exciting. It's exciting. Butterfly so says that her friend's account was shut down on a glitch. Oh. That is sad. I'm sorry. There's that a lot of that going along uh, with uh, addresses and stuff and like thinking you have two accounts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So tell her to keep her glitch to herself. She can't share that. <laughs> yeah. Don't spread the glitches. I'm really sorry for you, but no. <laughs> So we're excited about the one day handling time. Yes. Now my only thing is like we might go out of town for Thanksgiving. So you know, I gotta keep that in mind that if I have any time where I'm not gonna be able to do one day. I just put mine on on um vacation mode because it's mm -hmm. easy, you know, you just go in to your settings and hit your account info or something like that and just click it over to you know vacation and it just boom deactivates everything. Or doesn't deactivate it. I mean, it just doesn't make it visible to buyers. Okay, I'm going to scroll down, then I'm going to go back to that one up there in a minute. Uh, so this is a copy and paste that I found from the forums. And I follow, let's see, here's this guy right here, Ed Rosenberg, who I know he's in a court case right now, but that doesn't mean that the information is not valid. And we don't know what's going on with that court case. So I don't want to knows we can all be in a court case. <laughs> but Amazon <laughs> seller performance suspensions. I tell you, I learned so much from this group. And this is one little nugget that I just want to tuck away for another rainy day if I get desperate. And I don't know if it really works or not. I've heard pros. I've heard cons. I've heard if you do this, you could, you know, get on a, um, a naughty list. But, it, you know, some people are have tried everything. And this person has posted that. There are several Amazon email addresses that if you're not getting through to Seller Central, your IP claims aren't going away or whatever, or you're at your wit's end, you can draft your letter stating what your issue is and proof of invalid suspension claims and email it to these addresses. Now, before I had just heard about the Jeff at Amazon.com. It says to email it 50 to 100 times every day. <laughs> <laughs> now that I don't know if, if you should do, but I had never seen anybody list out all the Amazon uh um, what do you call it? email addresses like this. So I'm like, that might come in handy someday. I like to mm -hmm. kind of, you know, tuck, tuck like those little you, nuggets away. There's one Dave and only one Jeff and only one David that work at Amazon. Hey, there you go. I don't know. Uh, so I don't know if this information helps you, but you know what? If you're at your wood's end, you're at your wood's end. You can always try. <laughs> I would I would seek legal help before oh just spamming emails, but you know what? Maybe maybe uh maybe you could have some luck with it. Okay, this one I'm hoping you can see it. Let's do this. There we go. So, unex. <laughs> I'm not going to read this whole thing, but basically, Amazon is saying they're having trouble getting their stuff out the door, and so they may be just storing your stuff and they'll till they can process it and you're still going to have to pay storage fees for that. So <laughs> typical I Amazon. I got all this stuff that I like called back back in like March. I just mm -hmm. got it, you know, the other week. It's like Ex exactly. Uh so somebody posted that it's prevalent mm -hmm. at LAS1 and Ontario centers seems to be the two centers that are getting hit the the most and I loved this little quote down here um, on black, ma black mailing, you will not be able to remove your items through Sell Seller Central, but you will be charged fees on these items. So, of course, uh, I, I don't know how much yeah. that is, is affected, but there you go. Okay. I wanted to go over with everybody for just a few minutes today. I put together some slides and stuff on what the new... Um, how the new fulfillment process works if you signed up for Mexico and Canada. And I'm going to go through all the links and stuff and, and show you what it looks like on my account. I've been up and going for a couple of weeks, I think since right around October 1st. And this is what your payment 
thing now looks like. Mine was in Spanish, so I translated it to English for y'all. Now, this, this is them fulfilling it for you, right? This is FBA? Yes. yes. So what it is, is your Amazon FBA inventory can be sold to uh, Canada and Mexico, and they handle all of the fees and customs and stuff there. Next poll, or beery picker. Oh, Hi, Scott. Picker. Next poll on Amazon. Do you think Amazon cares about your seller account? Oh, my God. I've seen that poll so many times. <laughs> they like to have so many stupid polls. that <laughs> are just ridiculous. Okay, so this is what the disimbursement <laughs> looks like. And, of course, I got paid in pesos. And it's really not that. <laughs> it's like $50 in pesos when I um, calculated it out. So it wasn't all that great. But oh, let me bring up my other screen. So if you are signed up for that and you're wondering on where to go and whatnot, your inventory and then sell globally. And it will bring up this page right here. And I'll, I'll show you that screen in a minute. And people were asking about the transactions and where to get the transactions and stuff. So you have to click on your account up here, drop down. So mm -hmm. right now we're selected on Canada. And if you select the Mexican one, uh, Mexico's, then you can drop down and it defaults to Spanish. You can drop down to English, which was really good. That's helpful. Helpful. Uh, so you could click on each transaction. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're still making money on your items because the fees are different and the uh, Canadian conversion is different too. So I believe it's, it was up here. Uh, it's somewhere. We'll see it in a minute, but the, dollar uh, exchange is different. Wow, that, well. that would like make me nervous just to try to figure out how much to price. I it. know. That's where I'm at. I'm like trying to figure out if I'm, you know, are you making money or are you not making money? So the transactions Ooh. you can see here, I sold a bra over into Canada and they charged $37. The customer pays a lot of the fees too. So they, they pay for the customs and to get it over the border and everything. The inventory, again, you will go to, to the upper left or to the upper right, click the Canadian versus Mexican, okay. whichever platform you're looking at, and you can see what it is here. So I can see that this um, has a different price over there, and I can match the price or not match the price. I believe the sales rank is for that platform as well. And then you can go ahead and edit your items and stuff. So let me show you live. I think I got up. Bring that up. Yes. Okay. Add to stream. So it's called Remote Fulfillment with FBA. And this link is down in the description as well. So you can then uh, go and click on the links here to investigate. And I have to say this took me a while to put all together because all the information is kind of pieced together all over. It's not not Some of the stuff them. looks really pretty, but then it's not mm -hmm. telling you exactly what you what you need to look at. Um, all right. So in Canada, in the last seven days, I've had $151 in sales. And in Mexico, I have a I've had $170. So right here it tells you the total US dollars, $170 for eight items, which is great. But on that transaction view, it's going to be in pesos. So that's where it's like frustrating here. Butterfly says, I've been selling on Amazon for quite a while and I've never done FBA yet. Oh, well, if you're interested, you should give it a try. It's not for everybody, for sure. There's a I did. lot of I was doing out there. FBA for a full year. And then after COVID, I switched to Merchant Fulfilled and I have yet to go back to FBA. <laughs> yeah. And I went back to FBA like in June. So I've done some Merchant Fulfilling. Um, all right. So here is the. They charge you, of course, to, to change the currency. Um, so you have that fee going on somewhere in there. And Amazon, they're charging a fee, really? Oh, my gosh. They charge a fee for everything. They charge a fee for charging a fee, don't they? Uh, so you, this is build international listings, which if you go to inventory, sell globally, build international listings. It's how you get to this page. Okay. You can then... Um, you can edit your pricing rules. So say you want stuff to be higher or lower or anything like that, you can remove the connection. So if you have signed up for this and you're like, ah, this wasn't for me, that's how you remove it. That was um, 
gosh, one of the things I kept seeing on the boards this couple of weeks too. Uh, Butterfly says, just seems so much co more complicated. Yeah, that's why I was like, I signed up, but now I'm trying to dive in to see if, see what the heck's going on with it, because it is a little bit confusing. Um, all right. Yeah, I just, I just got a new CPA, and so, <laughs> warning, I just signed up for something. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Good thing you're a CPA. You can figure out my pace of Yeah. <laughs> figure it out. Uh, okay, okay, so... <laughs> Now we're going to go into Q4 stuff, the exciting stuff, now that the boring stuff is over, <clears throat> and talk about shopping. Yes. Do you mind if I if I preface your next thing? Because it looks like you're going to go on one of my new favorite sites. Yes. No, this okay. is all you. So, yeah. So, Retail Dive is a new site that I found. I found it through Retail Brew, which is another one that I love. Uh, Retail Dive is just really, it's got a lot of information. They have a lot of studies and, you know, every day they do headlines, like maybe five headlines or something. Um, and, but yeah, they're, it's really cool. So if you guys haven't heard of it or been on it, check it out. Um, they also have podcasts. So they, their most recent, um, like the podcast is up there in the, um, on the main header there. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, and actually, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then I actually just listened to the Walmart versus Amazon Prime um, before the show. So, you know, it's very interesting. It's a lot of really great stuff with Amazon. I've seen a lot of people signing up to do the mm -hmm. Walmart. And I only do the Walmart with my Shopify store. Mm -hmm. So I don't do it with Amazon type of items. But that's definitely a, if you were going to branch out and you didn't like Amazon or you want to have another account available, signing up for the Amazon or the Walmart Prime equivalent would be a good way to go. Yeah, so I'm going to look into that too. But anyway, so I just, yeah, want to make sure I talk about that site because it's really good. <clears throat> You've got this study you wanted to bring up. Yeah, so um, let's see. I can't see my tabs through my, through my thing here. Hold on. Mm -hmm. It says one third of shoppers experience substantial shipping. Oh, yeah, yeah. So just, yeah, if you just scroll it down a little bit. So um, they were talking about, you know, delays in shipping. Um, I mean, I'll let you guys go to the article for the statistics. Because, um, again, it's like it's based on different studies and things like that. But there was a lot of buyers, especially with COVID, um, that are experiencing delays in shipping. And, you know, so many said, you know, the 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 shipper communicated with them and, you know, they were, you know, um, more easygoing. And I guess the consumer was more easygoing if the seller communicated. And then there were things about returns and, you know, people are more likely to go back to a retailer if the return was easy. Um, and it just kind of, to me, <clears throat> the findings through the study seemed, um, kind of like the way that Amazon already operates, you know, that smooth transition for the customer. Um, it just kind of validated um, Amazon's business style. And as a, you know, doing eBay as well, I do try to take a lot of that same business model and apply it to my eBay. So it was, it's just very, very good information, something to read through. Yes. And I think we've all experienced, if you, if you do any sort of ordering online, like most of us do, we've all had delays and issues. Mm -hmm. I ordered some uh, large packing boxes from Walmart, you know, a big pack, the 25 pack. And that has now been delayed this morning. And then uh, what was it? Oh, my Kleenex for my allergies has or been canceled. And yeah. Canceled and delayed mm -hmm. and doing online arbitrage a lot. That's all been uh. monkeyed with too. It's so yeah. frustrating. Uh, all right. So you linked this one too. Amazon brings yeah. Black Friday deals early with Holiday Dash even. Yeah. So this Holiday Dash, they, they just um, uh, launched, I believe it was last Friday. So they're trying to get ahead of the season, ahead of the holiday season. But I thought it was really interesting. Um Let's see, where was it? Scroll down just a little bit more for me. Nope, maybe up. 
There, oh, I see. It's the third paragraph up right there. As Amazon spreads its own holiday deals um, beyond Black Friday, yeah, um, other retailers have followed. Um, oh, one more paragraph up. Um, much of the retail space has put an emphasis around shopping earlier this holiday season to spread out foot traffic and avoid the crowds that are usually found on big shopping days like Black Friday. So I thought that was an interesting market trend, you know, that um, retailers as a group are, are thinking, you know, let's get out in front of the holiday season earlier. So as e-commerce sellers, we should be getting out in front of the holiday season a little earlier ourselves. Very true. And then I don't know if you received your guidebook on what to source, but Amazon sent you a nice guidebook. I didn't get that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so anyhow, if you're interested in, in the toys, you should have gotten this magazine and it tells you exactly what they're. Amazon? Yeah. Amazon. Toy. It's like the, um, do you, did you guys ever get the JC Penny catalog. Oh and had when I was a kid, I used to. Sit, oh my gosh! If I came home from school and the mail came that day and had the JC Penny catalog in it, mm -hmm. I would do nothing but that for like three days straight. Mm -hmm. Just look and look and mark it up. And oh, my mother told me one year she's like, "It'd be easier for you tell me what not to buy in here." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, like everything. That's we we gave it to my daughter one time, one of the catalogs, and she circled just about everything. And I'm like, okay, you need to narrow this down. Maybe go back and circle with another color or something on what you really, really, really want. <laughs> All right. So oh, let's talk a little bit about how how we're keeping track of everything for black friday deal i'm not keeping track of anything <laughs> it's just all yeah it's it's a little bombarding i mean you're getting emails you gotta download the app maybe mark up a calendar maybe make a list or something but uh i think what a one of the best things i did was i joined a group of of um like-minded people on facebook to kind of share and dive into this information together so again if you're feeling overwhelmed maybe you need to have somebody to to do this with because there's a lot of information and a lot of it's not geared towards resellers necessarily. It, you know, there's a lot of things yeah, I'm not going to buy good. for, for reselling. Um, so the crazy coupon lady, hi Tina. Hi Tina. The crazy coupon lady probably has the best website for deals to be on the lookout for. She must have several people working for her that just process all this information and put it in a nice package that you and I can then look at and see what's going on. And it's really always up to date. I've been following her for years. So uh, she's got the best deals for Walmart on Black Friday, but she's got all the stores out here and what's going on and all the coupon codes and how to do it and where to shop, etc. So she is an amazing person to follow and look at. Um, I was trying to pop-ups, pop-ups, pop-ups. So a lot of the items are, you know, like a Roku TV. I'm not going to wow, get every TV cell. For Black Friday. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a lot of things. There's, There's a lot, lot of things. <laughs> but if you're looking, you know, this is a good time to save for your family too. So I always am looking for work, but I'm also looking for, for my house too, because, uh, you know, an $88 TV might be something you really need. We don't, don't, I'm trying not to let my husband know about any of this stuff. Oh, my husband just made a pork roast in the Instapot the other night. So yummy. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm anti Instapot here. Yeah. I, th I think it's just another freaking thing that's going to sit on my shelf and not be well it, it does just kind of sit there and collect us because i don't cook anymore <laughs> i run a business now don't cook my husband cooks <laughs> so so going through these lists what i like to look for is kind of what's on trend what are kids collecting and and what are they into what kind of toys are hot you know the little um yoda from mandalorian is mm -hmm. super hot i think he's going to be the hottest thing is that the baby yoda or is it the a baby yoda no, it's the Baby Yoda, and Disney's going to do the second, it's not the second series, whatever it is, the second semester, no, second whatever, um, the 30th of October, and so I think it's just going to be really, really hot. Uh, we got LOL, 
of course, Apple stuff. Don't sell Apple stuff. That's that should be a no brainer. Um, Moana is still pretty hot. You know, Hot Wheels. Some of the classics are going to be really hot. A lot of Lego sets I've been seeing on the boards for for bolos and things like that. Hatch moles, Nerf. Some of these things you just can't go wrong with. So definitely sign up for for some of this stuff. Egyptian towels for five dollars. <laughs> nice. Where? Uh. I think this was all for Walmart, wasn't it? Oh, is it all for Walmart? Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is Walmart deals. Yankee candles could oh, be nice. a good, good deal. Vacuum cleaners, magic bullets. All right. So I thought that was kind of fun to scroll through and see. And it looks like we're going to be reading more on our phone or our iPad versus getting stuff in the mail. I, you know, I, we always would get the, the big paper and then kind of look through it and everything. And I loved that. And I would take my phone, the seller central app, the camera and scan the images mm -hmm. on that. Um, but you can scan your computer screen too. So if you go back up to like one of these toys, not the Yankee, what's a good toy. If you go up to this toy right here and just hold your phone up to scan it, you will be able to to scan that way as well. It's not as fun as sitting around and <laughs> about the ads, but we got to adapt this year. Got to adapt. So the next website here is, you know, I was going to put together a list of like tips for everybody. And then I found this in researching and I'm like, I'm just going to share her website because uh, she's already put together a good list. Don't and, up the wheel. Yeah. So I've got her link down below. This is Rachel Ro Rofe, I'm going to say, Rachel Rofe. And she's got tips for preparing for Black Friday Cyber Money, <laughs> Cyber Money, Cyber Monday for 2020. <laughs> and she kind of just lays things out. So it's really nice on the deadlines and stuff. Uh, November 5th is a deadline for Black Friday Cyber Monday shopping to arrive at Amazon. And then what is, we've I'm got... Sorry, what's her name again? Renee... Rachel. Rachel. Renee is my middle name. That's where I came up with that. <laughs> Rofe. R-O-F-E is the last name. So the deadline for inventory for Christmas shopping to arrive at Amazon is December 5th. So if you are trying to get things out, you want to keep those marked down your calendar or whatnot. And think about merchant fulfilling in between. If you're not, if it's going to be between December 5th and the whatever, the 23rd third, maybe the 22nd, depending on how you ship it for Christmas arrivals. But don't let that stop you. Like, yes, the 25th comes, but then everybody gets gift cards and, and whatnot. And so the shopping season kind of mm -hmm. still goes. Yeah. My January so this year was better than my December last. Yeah. Yeah. January is definitely going to be a big, big thing. Uh, I had a lot to luck with Hanukkah last year. I mean, Hanukkah just doesn't seem to be as big and, and whatnot. So when I was at, what is it, Bed Bath & Beyond or any of the other retail stores, if they had Hanukkah items, don't pass mm -hmm. those over either. Um, that's going to be huge as well. Protect or optimize your product listings. She does some really good lists of resources here to optimize your product listings. She's got keyword tool, spot niches, and merchant words, and then photos. She's got a great list of, again, resources. This, this is another one of those things. I bookmark the page and then maybe I don't need a resource for photos right this second. But when and if I do, I've got the resources I've already come across and I uh, can just go and do those. Research. She says to research trends, you can check out Etsy's holiday trends right here. You know, I'll go ahead and I'll open that. And then she's got some more um, just links down here. So overall, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed looking at that blog. If you look at the holiday trends on Etsy, if you are on Etsy and doing anything there, you may want to look at the Etsy trends. Same with eBay, same with Macari, same with whatever platform you are selling on. So did you have anything else you wanted to add to shopping this year? Do you got any other tips or tricks, Miss Marcy? Tips or tricks. So one of my tips actually to do after the holidays is to get the holiday clearance for cards and ornaments and paper supplies like napkins. Yes. 
That is. So I actually, because last year you had mentioned, you know, getting the clearance ornaments for, you know, that particular year or the baby's first Christmas or whatever. And I was like, really? Because, you know, I mean, I was like, who would want a 2019 ornament or something? Well, I went out and found a bunch on clearance for, I think they were like two bucks each and they were brand name. And I just sold out of my last 2019 ornament this morning. So <laughs> I found some at Kohl's a couple of weeks ago. Maybe maybe it was more like August uh -huh. uh, 2019. I can't remember if they were Hallmark or whatnot, but they had the 2019 on them. And there was a little blue snowman and a little pink snowman. And they sold out really quick yeah. as well. Same with uh, Christmas tree bags, Christmas mm -hmm. tree stands, anything to do with the holidays. Lip huh? balms. Lip balms. Lip balms. Yes. Yep. I actually had a really awesome, I found it on um, uh, a Target. Mm -hmm. I tend to do really well with their holiday clearance. Like it, it hits like, you know, a day or two before um, the new year. And then it will go down to like, you know, 75% or 90% off. And I had um, some lip balms that were, it came in like a little carrying case and it was 24 different flavors. I picked them up for six bucks each and I just sold out of my last one and I was selling them like for 30 bucks plus shipping. Yes. Yes. Flavored mm -hmm. holiday flavored anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a market for oh, Starbucks. Yeah. And this summer I sold out of um, the skinny girl syrups, the holiday flavored uh, coffee syrups. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. that is and I'm getting that for like a buck or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much. So that's uh, actually one of my tips is to save your save some you know save some change and hit those holiday sales mm -hmm. so we have some other things on our list that that didn't have like a website associated with them here and uh the first one here is chocolates we are now in multiple seasons so we can I ship in use the ice box anymore i know i can save on shipping <laughs> very true very true but also with with chocolates, you've got things that are marshmallows or mm -hmm. you know, lipsticks, anything that's gummies, anything that would normally melt, you can now ship into the warehouses and capitalize on that. And I tell you, chocolates is huge. We've got chocolates for the holidays and then followed right next to that is Valentine's Day. So we will start to see, it's so weird to think about Valentine's Day, but. Yeah, but you got to think about it, right? Yeah. I mean, right when Christmas is hitting is is they kind of shove everything over into the clearance section mm -hmm. and hammer out that chocolate along with workout stuff. So anything chocolate and anything working out, I will be looking at workout gloves. Totally uh, agree. Yoga mats. Anything that can help you lose weight at home is mm -hmm. going to be big this year. Yeah, it is. Sure. It is. But yeah, I've been doing really good with the um, athletic wear. I did really good with it earlier this year. And then of course, then COVID hit and I did good with it because people were working out at home. And so, <clears throat> so I'll keep, uh, keep that up. That's actually one of my tips too. So, um, the athletic wear for, you know, for the Christmas season, plus the January, February season. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next thing on here that I put on was somebody had asked this morning on how to package up a, I don't have anything laying around, but a bottle of, we'll just say lotion that has the pump on the mm -hmm. top to protect it with the three foot yeah. drop. Mm -hmm. And the suggestion, and this is from ladies of FBA. It's a Facebook group that I'm part of. So I love seeing all the tips and everything, but they say to take a piece of cardboard and two strips. So that kind of makes an X and put it over the the pump and tape it down to help protect that pump if That's you're getting a, a lot of breakage. And uh, yeah, lotions are amazing. And with the sanitizing and the cold weather, I think we're gonna see an uptick mm -hmm. in lotion sales. I used to buy a whole bunch of Bath & Body Works stuff to resell, and that would be a huge part of my Q4. But this year, Bath & Body Works did whole bunch of different stuff for their summer sale. They didn't really do their typical summer sale because they were getting hit hard on that front with the sanitizing and stuff. So I really don't have much lotion in the in the warehouse. I need to go look. <laughs> need to go out shopping for lotions. Um, let me see here if there's anything else on our list. 
No, we have hit everything on our list of stuff here. Good. Do we get to do my 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 fun one? Yes. Yes, we do. So, Marcy, yes. tell us what you've been doing with your office. My topic this week is how did Marcy upgrade her office? <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't get those. You have to scroll down to the camel color. Nope. In the pictures. Yep. Right. And scroll so down. See, see the down arrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those. Okay. Yay! Aren't they pretty? <laughs> they are, but they look like you'd fall off. So, well, these actually, so they, they're really cool. It's a set of two. And of course, overstock.com, you get free shipping. Um, and, um, but you can actually lower them down to a regular table height. Okay. And they adjust up to a bar stool height. So I have a two foot work table and a three foot work table, plus where I sit with my computer. And right now I have one stool, so I have to pick it up and move it up here and trip over all my inventory and stuff to try to move my stool. So this way I'll have two. So I'll have one for my workspace and one for my computer space. Yeah. Well, speaking of workspace and computer space and all of that and, and shipping, that is really good to use Overstock with the free shipping to get kind of good things to make your office more functional, you know, to alleviate any ergonomic issues. And there is a huge shortage of office stuff right now because everybody's mm -hmm. working from home. Um, we wound up getting a chair for my husband to work in on Amazon, and then I wound up repairing a chair. I mean, it's just, it's another hot area yeah. that you should be sourcing as well. Any sort of office supplies have been selling really, really good. Yep. And, but let me just tell you one of the reasons why I ordered the stools now was because my mom is coming to stay with me in December. And she's bringing her boyfriend from Arizona. Oh, fun. Yeah, so my happy. mom's going to help me out with my business. What's up, Swamp Picker? <laughs> yeah, mom's going to be helping me out with my business. So she's really excited because she wants to know how I do it. Ah, so I'll have a chair for prepping and I'll sit her at the computer or vice versa. Or, you know, that's only if we're not at the store that day because we're going to be doing a lot of shopping because that's where I learned my shopping from. My mom. So I'll be down in Vegas for a good chunk of the holiday season. So yep. and my mom's going to love these chairs. Goodbye, nature girl. It was Bye. Tina. Tina. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bye, Tina. Have a good day. Uh, let's see here. You got yep. Lateral yep. drawer file. Yes. Yes. So I need a filing cabinet. Been looking around for one for a while. And I found this one because I thought it, blended well with the bar stools so um it's lateral so it's and it's got the two drawers so what i'm thinking is i'll keep like you know my tax information receipts stuff like that in the first drawer down and then put my shipping supplies in vertical files you know and hanging folders mm -hmm. in the top drawer and then you know so when i need like an ebay poly bag pull it right out of there and you know that kind of thing um and then the next slide one more. Yep, there it is. I got the hutch that goes on top. So I'll have a little bit more storage. Ah, yep. Okay, so it looks like that. Oops. Mm -hmm. Get off there. Oh, so, I mean, it's nice. not like beautiful or anything, but I think for functional furniture, I think it I think it's pretty cool. Yes. Yes. And there's a Yeah. I I really like that. This is a good time to do those upgrades or mm -hmm. if you're busy i mean we're all really busy during the holidays. 30 inches wide so i'm gonna put it here next to my refrigerator which is right behind my computer space where i do my shipping yeah it says 30 inches but it you know like i'm really busy but come february is kind of when i want to do some office changes so during this time i'm writing down or you know what kind of what's working for me what's not working for me what do i need like i need more storage for bubble wrap because i have like four rolls and they we just take up bubble wrap, don't we? <laughs> so I gotta I gotta think of sort of like one, one corner in the garage from like floor to ceiling is bubble wraps stacked up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a good time to kind of jot down what's working for you, what's not working for you, you know, get some ideas for for making yourself more productive 
you know, mm-hmm. next year and thinking about those goals. Cause I tell you some, some upgrades that I've done to my office, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I should have done that Let me, a long time ago. And just a minute. Let me, I want to look and see if I can find this other thing that I had. But I was yeah. thinking about things. Let's see your list. Mm, I don't see it now. <laughs> oh, it must've been on John's account. Son of a gun. I'll have to, I'll bring it on next time. Where'd you go? Okay. There Eric says, where do I find my eBay web link for my store? So can you share your screen? I'll look that up for Eric. It's going to take me a minute. Uh, share my screen where? What? Can you share your screen? What's Are you me? sending me the link? No, I can't find it. It's on John's account. Not oh, me. okay. Sorry. Uh, let's see here if I can. Sh- It's if you go to okay, hold on. Okay, Eric, are you with me? If you're on your eBay account, you just click on your seller name up there and it brings up this page and there's your your link right there. So it's gonna be ebay.com slash USR slash whatever your eBay name is. So there you go. If you need I'm not quite sure where you, what, what, what you needed that for, but there you go. We'll, we'll solve your problems. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. There's been, uh, everything's a little scrambly. Yeah. I have yet to find my Amazon web link. No ah, your Amazon web link. Me, that's, that's, um, I can, I don't know. Your merchant, I think it's called your merchant token. Uh, it's under your settings. Go to your settings and then it'll be on the left hand side. Well, okay, I take that back. I have found it before, but it just takes me a while to find it. Yes. Like uh, when my friends go, what's your website so we can go and see what you <laughs> uh <laughs> okay, so you go, I'm not not gonna share this one, but <laughs> go to settings, account information, and then over in the left it will say your seller profile. And so uh you can look there. Um, all right. Oh, well, we, we are done. Done? I think so. Oh, I think oh, wow. Finished. And we're 10 minutes early. How about yes. that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Cause we went quick. So next time, next time we're going to be talking about sourcing ideas for Q4. Some of our favorites, what's worked for us before, what hasn't and new ideas. Uh, Eric got back. I am filling out map agreement with supplier and they want links so they can babysit you. Uh, They want to check out your website and see what what you're all about. But yeah, you can give them the link to your eBay store. You can give them the link to your Amazon store. It kind of depends on which one they're asking for, which one you want to sell the stuff on. Um, But yeah, I've I've had to provide my both my eBay store and my Amazon store for different things before as well. So uh, I've had I've done applications for for products. And they've gone and looked at my store and then said, you know, sorry, we don't feel like our products line up with what your your store is mm-hmm. like and been denied for that, that reason, sense. too. So I, I, I get it. I get it. If, if uh, you know, yeah, if you don't want you drive. you don't want to be selling Barbie dolls next to the adult stuff. <laughs> yet I do. <laughs> I have both Barbie dolls and adult stuff. So that's true. <laughs> But, you know, I'm not branding well, my, my like Amazon really have 20 products, you know. <laughs> and and that's why I'm not on Walmart right now, because I have all of my Shopify store stuff on Walmart. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to throw in my Amazon type of inventory that's, you know, grocery and clothes mm-hmm. and this and that and everything. And have my customers be like, um, OK, I see I see your theme and your brand going here. And then there's, you know, whatever, chocolates or something. So. Yeah. Yeah, with Amazon, it's like either you're in the buy box or not. Nobody's really looking at your store. Exactly. Nobody nobody really cares about your store. But I did, uh, I'll share that real quick. I've been looking to see at what other people have been been buying and selling and things like that for tips. Let's see if I can reshare. Pajamas. That's what I'm currently chasing. Pajamas. Yeah, but do you, do you ever scope out other people's stores and what, like, um, yeah, like if somebody's, you know, 
yeah, like if yeah. When I was doing FBA, I I um and I was doing like my um repricer and stuff like that. I noticed that there were some very, very competitive sellers, which was fine. But then I would go, you know, scope. I like knew their names. As soon as I saw them, I would go scope out their stores. <laughs> Hold on. I want to do something else. Let's go back and then I would get this. ideas on what to sell that they sell. Yeah. Okay. So like Anastasia, I can't sell, but I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find somebody to spy on. I've been doing this recently because I'll, I'll see something that I'm like, oh, I see that all the time at Marshalls mm -hmm. or I see that all the time at Kohl's. Where's the freaking sellers? There's got to be more than. <sighs> okay. Maybe that brand's locked down or something. Yeah. Anastasia is. Compare. Okay. New York professional. This is one brand that I'll sell. There we go. Other sellers. So, so we've got sold by Strawberry Distribution, Inside Out, and Genesis Love. <laughs> so then you can go to Genesis Love. You can see how they are now. Their address is now on there. You can kind of see what they're looking at. And then you can go to their storefront. And so there's been a couple of sellers that I'll I'll find. And not not like I'm doing this very much, but if I'm going to list something, I'm looking at the other buyers and the price and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And I notice that they just have very similar inventory yeah. as I do, or I recognize their inventory. I'll go through and I'll scroll through. Mm -hmm. So this one looks like they, they source a lot of beauty stuff. And so then maybe I want to keep my eye out for, for this. Um, I know I've gotten this butter gloss a couple of times the hemp's lotion. We were just talking about lotion. Sometimes you can find this at big lots and things like that. Burlington. I've seen it at Burlington. Yeah. Burlington. Um, you know, so I, I believe she's finding the one thing that Amazon doesn't do well as a, and th this goes for me as a buyer too, is to be able to visit somebody's store and to be able to kind of filter out. It's like, okay, if I'm ordering a pair of, um, you know, Capri leggings or something from a, from a seller, maybe I want to order more than one thing from that seller at one time. I might be looking for a hoodie too. So I can't easily just go into their store and search their store for hoodies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Versus like eBay, if you have the store, then you have, you know, the different categories. Yeah, yeah, they do not do that very yeah. well. So, and, and that actually um, uh, reminds me of something that I started doing just a couple months ago, and it's worked really, really well in my eBay store, if anybody's interested. So, oh. when you have your store, you know how you get, you can assign two categories to one product. So, what I did is I went in and I made... Um, I have men, I have, I just have very few girl clothes. So I didn't do it with girl clothes, but so for boys, men, women's and women's plus size, I actually made a category that says women's plus size. And then, you know, an OX or a one X or a two X. And then I can assign, sign it to, you know, the item to, let's say a sweater and women's plus size OX. Mm -hmm. So now, and then I have in my description that you can do that, you know, to, draw people's attention to it and um the other week i had somebody go in and buy eight things from me in ebay nice yeah you know, yeah because you had them nicely put together i've heard that tip works really well at poshmark too so that's your phone right yeah i'm kind of ignoring it sorry about that okay so this I'll this is a perfect example of a store that i have seen a lot of these products either on OA list, RA list, uh, or at the store. So cold ease, mm -hmm. um, cold, any sort of cold medicine is probably pretty hot right now going into the flu season here. We've got drink a palooza. I know I've seen that game somewhere. I'm trying to think of where the heck I saw it. It might have been a cold item. Transformers. We've got a, a Buffalo Games toy here. This con Contigio. Mm -hmm. Contigio. I know I've seen that brand and I don't really source that brand, but now I am because <laughs> models go for, you know, 11 plus $5 shipping. They go for $16. Yeah. I'm 
2000 and sports, I'm going to be looking for that brand, you know, mm -hmm. just give me ideas. Signature by Levi Strauss. I do that one all the, all day long yeah, at the stores. If you see signature. Love that one. We've got this. I do that one over on eBay too. That one works out well for me on eBay too. Mm -hmm. I swear I've seen this dental prac at the Dollar Tree. Maybe the Dollar Store. How much is it? Let me scroll up. It's $10, $15 for a six pack. pack. Yeah. But I, it looks like a dollar store mm -hmm. type item. I had not sourced this one. Nalgene on the fly. No. Yeah, me neither, but good idea. Black Panther is probably huge with that. Oh, poor Chris. It's just a sad story. Dog harness, something that I would never really think to look at. I usually pass the dog section for the most mm -hmm. part, but we've got number seven in pet supplies, Voyager. So that's stuck in my mind now. I will be looking at that. Uh, nail manicure. This, this is a, really big. Yeah, she's got everything merchant fulfilled. No, your brain. Oh, my brain? No, it all goes out. Like, I try to so put it in much. there, and then it sits out. <laughs> you remember so much of this stuff. I'd be, I'd look at something and be like, oh, what brand was, do I supposed to do that one for again? <laughs> I'll forget. Don't worry. It's, she does all merchant fulfilled. These Adidas women, I know I have saw those on the clearance this year. Or similar, okay, the little slides. More signatures. So I love, I love scrolling through this type of thing to kind of take a look. And see, ooh, they're ungated for DVDs. That means they have an older nice. account. Under Armour, more Black Panther, Lee, Lee Dungarees. Every once in a while, I'll find those. Oh, there was a dollar store um, migraine medicine. What? This one, tension headache yeah. release. Yeah, I sure it is dollar store. So she makes a couple bucks every time she sells it. Yeah, because the shipping on that is going to be less than four fifty four. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one thing we didn't talk about was uh, the USPS rates went up this week. Yes, the rates are always same. <laughs> Not that we can do anything about it. So yeah. I, I did increase my shipping rates on Amazon and a couple things on eBay. I increased, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I don't know. It is but what it is. Yeah, once you start shopping around, you'll recognize that the Assured mm -hmm. is is a uh, it's a sure dollar, dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's assured to be Dollar Tree. Got some, oh, Champion shirts, huh? Two thousand in clothing. I would have passed that over. I will keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll scan Champion if it has the UPC. Okay, ninety percent of the time it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Always flip that tag. Damn. What was that? Is scroll up a, uh, another one? Hey, that one. The ocean ocean potion. Yeah, I've done really good with ocean potion before. I have never seen it. Maybe because I'm up in Washington and we don't have yeah, sun. Maybe, yeah. I've done really good with ocean potion. Huh. Like way better than five dollars a bottle. So maybe it's just that one particular kind. I don't know. Or maybe it's the market right now. I don't know. I got a whole bunch of banana boats for two dollars, two fifty. Oh, that's good. That that sold for oh, you know, whatever you know, that, twelve to fifteen. After our lockdown was over, I went to Burlington. You know how they were like clearing everything out, mm -hmm. and I got all of these um, these um, suntan lotions on clearance for like two bucks each, or you know something really cheap. Mm -hmm. I got them home and I shoved them over in the corner. Of course, it got lost, and I was like, "Oh, let me see what's in this box." And so I started like taking the labels off, you know, to, to prep them, mm -hmm. to list them. And then I turned the bottle over and it's like the expiration date was on the bottom and I totally missed it in the store. <laughs> they were fired by the time I got oh, to it. No. It was like, oh. don't, don't, don't. It was like $24 of, I guess it was like 12 bottles. It's like $24 in lotion that we now have in the cabinet. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got locked down on a, a soap recently, and so now I have a bunch of soap. <laughs> like, well, it could be worse. I mean, we'll go through it, I guess. Yeah, we're just looking at somebody's storefront. We we pretty much ended the um ended all the content that yeah. we had lined up. And so I was just telling Marcy about how sometimes I go troll other stores if I find something that's similar, or sometimes you just go down those rabbit holes. And I love doing that and finding somebody's store that kind of looks like mine on what they're sourcing. Because 
oftentimes I'll come across brands that I've missed or products that I've missed or get different ideas. Yeah, for things um, you just literally just, you know, yeah, things that I would have I guess I scan and you keep moving. I was going to say uh, this Mucinex again, going into the flu season, good things to do. I will come across uh obvious stores either on B more on eBay than I do on Amazon, but every once in a while on Amazon that are the more extreme couponers that are really cool to see how they do the extreme couponing and stuff. It's a, uh, did I ever tell you I used to be an extreme couponer when Will was a baby? I've done it too, but I don't think I was extreme as, as most people. Yeah. yeah I had my own blog and all that good stuff. Spalding. See, Spalding is not one that I normally scan, but I think I will I'll now. scan it, but the price has to be right. Mm. Denise says Amazon has a ton of champion with a ton of inventory. Good point, Denise. Good point. Nautica school uniforms. I keep scanning school uniforms. I never get any hits. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing I've been doing good with the boys um uniform shorts and uniform pants, but not really the shirts. I've sold just a couple shirts. This uh -huh. Okay. But I'm much better with pants. Triton thermals. Hmm. I, I'm not familiar with that one either. Neocell. Why does this look familiar? I've never seen it before. It's pomegranate oh, liquid. Vitamin C12. Oh, Keefies. Mm -hmm, I've seen that. I'm not too familiar too. Yeah, so we're just chilling and having fun. We'll go through one more page real quick here. And then I, I, love, Lee. I love to find Lee and Jackie. I love to find Jackie. Oh, yeah. I don't ever find the leggings. I'm going to have to keep my eyes out for leggings. Yeah, I haven't seen leggings. Yogalicious. I have seen mm -hmm. it, but I've never, never had a problem. Yeah, I've, um, I've sold some Yogalicious and mm -hmm. the, the prices can be either really good or like, oh, no. <laughs> Can, you know, whether it's, you know, the deal that you're getting or the sale price at the time, just they can go either way. Well, these are probably whatever, $6.99 to maybe $9.99 at the store. And mm -hmm. they're going for 18 plus shipping and they're mm -hmm. 6000 in sports. So, yeah, that looks like a pretty good deal to me. I don't know what this TV TV thing is. It looks like one of those as seen on TV sections yeah. of the store. Ah, swell. Oh, we'll talk about them suckers for a second here. I have a junk email, right, that I use for stuff. It's not really associated with my Amazon store at all, but I kept getting notifications on that by swell saying that I am infringing on their brand, blah, blah, blah. They need to get. So they gave me three warnings and then a final warning. <laughs> so I sold out and deleted my listings, but I don't know how they got that email and if it was spam. Huh. Or or what? So it's kind of got my peaking my interest on what yeah. Swell's doing. I don't. I didn't want to like. If you think something is fake, you don't want to respond or click on the links, right? right? Yep. Uh, we'll Reebok. love to find Reebok. Reebok's good. Uh, T fell one Excuse stackables. Me. Huh. I've never thought to do pots and pans. I haven't either. FB, FBA. Always seemed like too much. Let me some Under Armour. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo games. The Buffalo games that reminds me of my Tuesday mornings that are no longer oh, there. I know. So I sad. have some out on the coast that I need to go. Yeah, we got like five in the state. The closest one's about an hour away. Champion hat. I would not have thought to scan that one. Usually I go after Nike or Under Armour for hats. And nature's, nature's truth, nature, oh, those vitamin ones, they like to pop up on my OA list. And a lot of times the problem with this, we'll click on this, is I'll get, I'll get the notification. Oh, you know, you could sell this vitamin and make $2 or whatever it is. But when you go down, you usually find some two packs. So mm -hmm. yeah, you've got two packs that are probably more of a deal. Um, I'd have to do some more investigation, but yeah. that's, that's typical. John and I, John and my husband and I had this conversation actually earlier this week because he does a lot of vitamins and is always buying them online. Um, and, um, oh, did you see what Eric said? Yeah, Eric says selling pot is risky. 
they could get banned for it. But yeah, um, but yeah, John said that, you know, as a shopper, and it, it's so true that it's so difficult to compare and shop vitamins on Amazon. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's the quantity and the, you know, versus the, it just, it's a mess. So as a seller, you know, unless if something is like very, very clean and clear that that's the right product and, you know, it's the right capsule amount and the right picture and all that other stuff, it just. So here's, here's my, my problems with, with vitamins. One, if you have the gummies, you can mm -hmm. get hit with the multiple issue, just like chocolates. Mm -hmm. So there's that problem. The next problem is I have received vitamins that have been damaged or if the seal is broken or the expiration date is not out mm -hmm. far enough. That's the next problem getting vitamins. The next problem is it's usually the multi-packs that are so great. You know, I'll see one bottle for $9.99, but two bottles for $14.99. Right. Okay. Well then who's going to buy the $9.99 one? You know, that's right. the vitamin you take constantly. You're going to get the $15 pack. So I'll see something with, we'll just say like maybe an 80,000 rank. And then the two pack is a 3000 rank. So you're just not going to sell it that fast. Right. So yeah, I got a lot of problems with vitamins. It's not my favorite to source. It just seems all over the place. Then you've got the, the regulation. I mean, I got hit with a beauty product that now I got a safety product violation on because it has some sort of freaking ingredient that I'm sure causes cancer only in California or some BS <laughs> that they like to hit you with. <laughs> oh, so I'm like, great. Now I got a bunch of that stuff that, I can't get out of my inventory. Now I've got a ding on my account. I'm hoping that if it's just, uh, so yeah, that's my gripes of the day. <laughs> my gripes with vitamins, but you have the same thing with like baby items too, though. I've had mm -hmm. baby items get dinged for all sorts of weird stuff. Last Christmas, I was doing a ton of the little sacks that you put your kids to sleep in. You know, yeah. It's like a potato sack mm -hmm. and halo, halo, but yeah. call them potato sacks, but sleep sacks or whatnot. And they got in trouble with claiming that it helped with SIDS or didn't help with SIDS or some sort of safety claim they made on the packaging that really wasn't proven. And so just huge yeah. lockdown, everything. And I'm yeah, going, I had, I had some oh. halo and then I had, had just sold out of it. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, it, it was just like, a matter of timing you sold out of it and it was a couple days later that that came out yeah so yeah i was able to easily just delete my listing and be done with it same with one of my big ip issues last christmas was with a tommy tippy cup and the tommy tippy cup had like a suction thing at the bottom so you could stick it and mm -hmm. it wouldn't fall over or whatnot that sticking to the table patent is in the courts like they're fighting mm -hmm. over the patent or something so of course i get dinged for it and i'm like Oh my gosh, for Pete's sakes. But I was able to, to get that one worked out. Still fighting my current one IP that doesn't want to go because I know the guy who, who's retracting it has retracted it three times and it still doesn't want to retract over on Amazon. So I'm getting very... So we'll go and email Jeff and David 50 to 100 times. What about it? 100 times a day. I don't even think I want to sit down and make 100 emails a day. That's <laughs> No, you just hit resend. Oh, just resend, resend, resend. So or can you like, can you like, um, put it on like a timer or something? You know, send this email at such and such a time. Oh my gosh, maybe. <laughs> I just, I don't want to click the appeal button. Your kid just to sit there and hit the button. <laughs> I need to create a macro to resend this email every five minutes. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, I am getting my palette in today, so I'm super Yay! excited about that. And I, I was have to go pick up prescriptions at the pharmacy. And like I said before, once I leave the house, I have to go sourcing. Yes. So just because I'm picking up prescriptions that are only three miles away, doesn't mean I'm coming home anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered this time though to get a lift gate with my palette delivery. Good job. The little things. It's the little things. Oh, yeah. Oh my Comes gosh. with experience. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. You guys out in the chat, thank you for joining us today. Everybody, I hope you have a great, great week and that your sales are great. Oh, I was going to say, 
I hit an all-time high of 30,000 in sales for the last 30 days. So that's a new Yay! high for me. So I was really excited. Oh, oh, you want to hear what I did? Yes. What I hit, I am two, two, one, two listing shy of 1400 on eBay. Nice. That's a lot of freaking work. Yeah. 1400 listings. That is crazy pants, but yeah. good for you. Good Thanks. for you. And, oh, uh, I <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have a giraffe toy to go. FAO Schwartz. That's another one that was at Kohl's for like freaking five, seven dollars or something big giraffe. And then I saw on the forums that FAO Schwartz is coming down hard on IP claims mm -hmm. and whatnot. So I just put it over on eBay and it's selling over there. Good. Yay. I mean, 